How to use variant selectors in MailChimp. Hey guys! Today we will show you how to use a very handy MailChimp feature called the variant selector. What exactly is a variant selector? Basically, it lets you switch between any number of different content structures within your email template. Note that when you create a new campaign using your template, you always begin with a single content block. Hovering over that content block will allow you to change its styling by using the Variant Selector drop-down menu. So, let's take a look at the process of building a campaign and using Variant Selector. First of all, we need to log into MailChimp. With our username and password. Then we click Templates. Now, as you can see, I have already uploaded a couple of templates that we could use. If you want to know how to do that, make sure to check out our How to Import an Email Template into MailChimp video. So, we will be using this one. Let's just have a quick look from the arrow and choose Preview. And here it is template we'll be using. Now again from the arrow choose create campaign. The first thing you need to do is select a list of subscribers you wish to send this email newsletter to or if you don't have one you can always send it to yourself as a test which is what we're going to do. Now you have to name your campaign so let's name it test and email subject also test and next. And here is your email template uploaded. Now as you can see, like I said earlier, you'll always begin with a single content block which in this case is the hero section. To add another section all you have to do is hover over the bottom of this one and click on the Add Another Section icon. MailChimp will generate a duplicate of your hero section, which now, again hovering over its bottom, you can easily change. You can change it to Article Image Right, for example. Again, we want another one, so let's duplicate this one. And let's change it to article image left. This allows you to create a ping pong layout where each image and text section mirrors the previous. Now if you want to remove a section, all you have to do is again hover over the bottom of the section and choose remove last section. And it's as easy as that. This feature is very handy if you want to mix and match your content blocks when drafting your email campaign. That way you can easily achieve the exact newsletter layout you've been looking for with just a few simple clicks. Thank you for watching this brief introduction of variant selectors and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.